On this episode of In the Kitchen, we're featuring everyone's favorite emoji, the eggplant. We're whipping up a classic Spanish escalivada from Bocaria's executive chef, Mark Vidal. Smoked veggies, yeah! We're gonna get started by preheating your oven to 450 degrees, and you're gonna wanna fire up your grill if you've got one outside, or if you're fancy like us and you've got one inside. If you don't have a grill, you can use a grill pan, just put it on your stove top and get it smoking hot before we start grilling our vegetables. And now it's time for the most difficult part of this recipe. You wanna put an onion, with the skin still on it, on a tray with tin foil, and put it in the oven for an hour. Really hard. Let's smoke them. You just wanna put them directly on the grill, no oil or anything, just keep them nice and dry with the skin on. You wanna get them supercharged, so they're gonna be really black. It's gonna take about four minutes per side, and we're just gonna keep turning them every four minutes until the entire eggplant is charred. Now we can add our peppers, because they're gonna take about eight to 15 minutes to char the peppers. Vegetable check, one, two. We are getting super close here. If you notice, this eggplant skin is peeling off, but that's what we're looking for. Eventually, we're gonna peel all the skin off your peppers as well, so don't worry if it's starting to look like super burning. We want the super burning. All right, I think we are ready to go. You're gonna wanna put the peppers into a bowl. Look at this guy, woo, char city. And then for the eggplant, we're just gonna wanna throw them on a dish that has a little bit of a rim. Yeah. We put the peppers in this bowl and it's time for them to take a little nap under the some plastic wrap. Basically what we're doing is we're letting the peppers steam a little bit so that we can peel the skin off them. Cover them up and let them steam. In the meantime, I took the onion out of the oven it looks a little insane. Basically, the onion has collapsed onto itself and the skin is super charred, it's peeling off. This is exactly what you're looking for. Don't be alarmed. You wanna just let this rest until it comes to room temperature. Obviously, ours already has because I'm holding the pan with my bare hands. And then the eggplant, we just wanna keep that on the plate. Again, you want this to come to a temperature where you feel comfortable handling with your hands so you don't burn your fingers off. Let's take care of this onion. So we're gonna take the peel off. It's a little sticky and kind of gross, but there's a treasure inside. Oh yeah, look at that. Woo! Chop this up into half inch pieces. The slime ball in the bowl. No offense, onion, but you are very slimy. Wake up, peppers, wake up. It's time to wake up. It's been like 15 minutes and we're gonna unwrap our peppers from their little steam bath. And we are going to pull the stem out of the pepper and hopefully a lot of the seeds come out too. Basically tear it apart. We're gonna want to scrape out all the seeds. This is why we steam them because the skin comes off super easily and you wanna make sure you get all of the skin off of the pepper. All right, so once you get it to about this point, we can just put it on the cutting board, do the other half. We're just gonna dice this into half inch pieces similar to our slimy onion. I think it's gonna be ironic that the onion and the pepper in this recipe are a little slimy and I'm hoping the eggplant isn't. Cut this up into about the same size pieces as the onion and throw it on in with that. It's eggplant time. Cut the heads off, pardon me, sir. And we're gonna wanna peel the skin off. Maybe I can just do it with my hands. It's coming off pretty easily, kinda like the peppers, but not, we'll just use a knife. This dish is turning out to be way messier than I thought it was gonna be. This one. If anyone knows of any other ways to take the skin off an eggplant, you can leave a comment below. Two de-skinned eggplants. Now we just wanna cut them into inch chunks and add them to our bowl of the onion and the red peppers. It's time to mess around with some herbs. I have four different herbs. We've got mint, dill, basil, flat leaf parsley, my favorite. You wanna get about two tablespoons. I went a little overboard, but I like my herbs. You can pick any herbs that you like. What I like about these four is it's going to add a ton of fresh flavor to the vegetables that we roasted. And this is gonna really brighten up the dish. So we wanna finally chop all these guys up. Ooh, smells good. I went heavy on the parsley and heavy on the dill just because those are my two favorite flavors. But if you prefer mint, go heavy on mint. If you don't have any mint, no worries. I feel like a real like chef. Yeah. Look, no, no look chop. We're just gonna let that pile sit over there for now. And we're going to make the dressing for our salad. This is super easy. We're gonna add four tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. You wanna use a high quality olive oil because you're going to really taste it in this dish. Look for like a cold press extra virgin olive oil. Two tablespoons of sherry vinegar. This is going to be the acid component in our dish. It's gonna brighten things up and it's going to really add a lot of flavor to our salad. So we're just gonna give this a toss. It smells super good. I really like sherry vinegar. And now we're gonna add a couple pinches of salt. You wanna use sea salt, something that's a little bit coarse grind so you get 
that crunch. It's time to plate up our escalivada. So we're gonna start with one cup of full fat Greek yogurt. And we just picked this really beautiful white platter. Make it look pretty. So we wanna make a little bed of yogurt for our salad. And we're gonna grab the salad and this just goes right on top. It smells so good from that sherry vinegar. It's looking festive. And now we're going to add our herb mixture. Make it rain. If I was Emerald, I'd be like, bam! It's a little aggressive, but I like it. You do want to go pretty heavy with the herbs because we need to add as much flavor as we can. We have a lot of flavor in the salad, but we just want to keep packing it in. And then I grabbed some pita and I threw it on the grill so it's nice and warm and grill. Look at the grill marks. Give this guy a taste. So we've got our pita. I'm just gonna dip it in here. Make sure you get all the veg, all the herbs. This is a ridiculously large bite. That is delicious. I'm a fan of anything that involves warm pita. I love how smoky and tender the vegetables got, especially the red pepper. That flavor really comes through, along with the sherry vinegar, which adds a really nice bite. And the herbs, I'm all about the herbs. They add so much flavor to this. All I need now is a giant glass of Rioja, and I feel like I'm Traveling back to Spain.